parts. Two rock stars, two rock stars white, and um, sure. And what do you want? You want a third one? Uh, monster white. Monster white. Yeah. Monster rock star white. monster and oh, red wow. bulls. Oh wow! All right, we're gonna be energetic. <laughs> okay, here we are again. Desert Turtle Racing, we're at Kenny Fabrication, and we're just gonna give you guys an update as to uh, what's been going on since uh, the last time we did an update for you. Um, things have been pretty busy, pretty exciting out here, and um, Darren, clue them in, give them a heads up as to uh, the adventure we've had so far. You know, the main part of the adventure ha has been the planning. Just. It, it, I can't say enough about the time that it takes to really communicate with your co-driver. You know, between the two of us, the level of communication I would have never thought we'd ever get into. From, you know, talking to each other once a week to, to now, it's literally every day. Every day we're getting into something. Something important comes up. Something important about the next part of the build, the next part that, that we have to really plan on. You know, I'm... I mean, as you can see, we're, we're in here. We, we got the Jeep torn down to the ground. Uh, cage has started. You know, we've got uh, a lot of planning that's taken place. We've created spreadsheets. We're tracking dollars. It's, it's all on a budget. It's, there's some major stuff that's going on right now and to keep things flowing. Yeah, it's been, it's been a, a neat adventure, I'd say. You know, bringing it over and being able to uh, brainstorm with Kenny when we brought the vehicle down, what it was, you know, the cage wasn't in it, the seats weren't in it, nothing, nothing was really in it. Well, the axles were on it, and so we stripped those out. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun to be able to uh, sit back, the three of us, and, and start working on the design of the cage and the dash and where you want to put the shifter and you know what, what's going to change in the vehicle. Where, where's the fuel safe fuel tank going to go? Where's that spare tire going to go? Where are those? rock crawler shocks gonna go like it's it's just a never-ending you know thing and as we sat there you know you could just see the three of us were just really getting excited about what was going to take place you know and, oh, and yeah. so far um you know we've got that cage built and uh where are we at on that rock crawler order? oh the rock crawler order right now is probably about two weeks out we're sitting with uh, suspension with rock crawler uh we're doing our coil over and bypass shocks on all four corners. We're set up for um, long arm, front and rear, uh, doing 70-75 aluminum. Some of the other things we've taken care of, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of to-dos and we have a really good to-do list going on. And uh, getting our order placed with uh, rugged radios was a nice little challenge. We actually had to build a cool little shopping list to figure out what components we really needed because they, they make a lot of bunch of different stuff. You know, they, they make a ton of stuff that's, um, a lot of it's useful. Uh, we got <laughs> a couple of large boxes of goodies from Rugged Radios and um, we went through and we set it all up on a bench test out here and we plugged it all in and we looked like a couple of geeks geeking out on some radio gear trying to test it out and we're walking around with our helmets on like we were a couple of uh, spacemen or you know something weird but you know what was interesting is how you got to it. How, how, how did we pick certain corporations to go with you know that that was really key is what worked before you know what what has made it from the start you know what did, what did you have at the beginning did it work did it not work what was tested tried true you know we we picked rock crawler because it went everywhere that suspension for this particular jeep and for me was was just i wanted to stick with it you know when when i mentioned it to randall he was right on, let's go with Rock Crawler. You know, the armor, Poison Spider, I, I can't say enough about Poison Spider. I mean, flat down, the, the best armor I think you could put on a rig. Poison Spider, we've been able to uh, research the new product that they have available. This had a full steel wrap on it before. Um, we've actually placed an order for some aluminum uh, fenders um, and some other products that they make to where we'll be able to lighten the vehicle up a little bit. So we basically, we stripped everything to the ground. We took off the axles. As you can see, we've already cut the frame. We've built the cage. We put the steering wheel on. We've ripped the whole center console out. We've laid out a cardboard dashboard uh, dash so that we can see where our gauges are gonna fit, where our shifter's gonna fit, 
if it all fits within our hands reach. One of the things we decided to do on that whole gauge, gauge placement was um, we decided to put the, our, um, our race pack in the center and we're, we're planning on having uh, two GPS's, one for the driver, one for the co-driver, so we can have a better idea as to where we're headed. Either one of us can look at the, at the, the trail, the race course on the GPS, and we can both acknowledge the, the readings on the race pack whenever we need. If there's a temp issue or um, you know any of the sensors are going off, that thing being in the middle is going to be beneficial to us both. We've got a gas tank mock-up. We've got a spare tire mock-up right now. That's all getting ready to go in. So where we're going with this next month is that we're going to work on the frame. We're going to set it up for our coil overs. Uh, we got the long arms coming in. Uh, we're getting the axles in place. We're probably going to work on the wiring for the engine. Get the air cleaner set into the cab. We'll finish the fabrication of the cage upper and lower and at that point we'll be rolling. Uh, once we get that all done uh, we'll have the vehicle over at Magnaflow and they'll build us um, an exhaust system. They'll do headers and exhaust for us um, and then uh, that'll take a little bit and we'll finish up the wiring and hopefully get it out on the lake beds where we can do some shop tuning and um, Hopefully we'll get it dialed in, you know, and have it ready to go by November so we can start pre-running. You know, it's always a tall order, but that's kind of where we're at. You know, is our, our goal is to have it pre-running in November. Right. I think that's about going to wrap it up for our video update this month. Uh, but before leaving, I'd like to say thanks to um, the sponsors that we've had that have stepped up. Um, Enet Components, uh, SoCal Land Maintenance, uh, Beachview Insurance, Pacific Advisors, SoCal Services, uh, Toro, Imperial Sprinkler Supply, Villa Root Barrier, Rainbird, DMA Contracting, uh, they've all stepped up and, and chipped in to help get us where we want to be. And I, I just can't think of enough of that. Yeah, very true. Very true. Well, it's been an exciting month, um, just progressing through the, the steps that we've had to do. So uh, I look forward to bringing you another update once uh, once we have it, it'll be next month about this same time, so uh, stay on pace with us.